going on everybody? Jacob here with another episode of Life Outdoors. And today, I'm heading out with a buddy to Olympic National Park. So this is something that I've always wanted to do. Um, it's on my bucket list to catch a steelhead out of this river. We have two days on the water, potentially three, just depending on what the rain does. Right now, it's sitting at like 1650 CFS. Um, it is supposed to get a good bump of rain today, which is gonna make fishing tomorrow a little tricky. Uh, but we're hoping that we kind of catch the spike tonight and then it decreases throughout the day tomorrow. So always good to fish for steelhead and salmon on those falling waters. Hopefully we get at least one fish on video for you guys. Um, it'd be, be a total blessing, but appreciate you coming along for the journey. Hopefully you enjoy the video and please consider subscribing to the channel. It would really help me out. I know about like something crazy, like 92% of the people who come to my channel aren't subscribed. So if you guys could hit that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy and catch you on the water. numbers guys this is absolutely crazy 30.2 mpg with highway driving so nuts But we are literally right next to the ocean right now. Like, that, through the tree line right there is the, is the freaking ocean. How cool is that, the beach? I don't know why, but that's just like blowing my mind right now. So, so cool, there it is, the ocean, wow. As you guys can hear, it's still raining. And it rained like this all night. Pretty cold. Didn't sleep great. The things we do for steelhead. All right, guys. We are we are out here in the in the hoe, on the hoe. <laughs> Rainy is. <laughs> we're gonna try and make it happen. Um, I'm starting off a little pink shrimp jig imitation on my spinning gear, and this is Nick here. He's doing the real deal and swinging some flies through. So, not sure how this is gonna go, but made the trek. I think, yeah, it's, it's gonna go well. 
what could, nothing could go wrong really it's looking less ideal oh my god she's ripping oh no it was so blue yesterday i mean it was like it was below that it came up probably a good three four feet because he was fishing off of those rocks i almost want to go over that yeah that. that looks like the easier side to walk you see the gravel bank down there there's probably a good shelf so keep your wits you got your river floating protocol nailed down <laughs> Yeah, Viz is, is like two inches. It's pretty bad. I don't know, it's tough to say. We needed a little rain. It was too low, but this is a lot. It's wet and cold, guys. Wet and freaking cold. And yes, I'm gonna get clowned in the comments for fishing this water. But when you drive three hours, sometimes you just got to suck it up and send her in. Oh, she's moving. She's cooking. This definitely feels like the most rugged water I've ever fished in my lifetime. Like, I feel like I'm in a rainforest right now for sure. Which is kind of wild. Like we're, we're really out here. Well, as you guys can assume by me being here, we got rained out. So ended up getting like four inches of rain instead of the half an inch of rain that we were expecting. Totally blew all the rivers out, cleaned the system. So we didn't even stick around for a second night of fishing. I mean, I had pools of water in my tent, got no sleep, and it just wasn't worth it. Um, so if you guys have had an experience where you got absolutely rained out, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear it. It'd probably make me feel a little bit better. Sorry that we couldn't get it done for you, but I will be back to the hoe to get a steelhead out of that beautiful area. Catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Peace.